invisible zipper on the Baby Luck Accomplish is is very easy. Most people shy away from invisible zippers, but with the help of the uh, invisible zipper foot, the ability to adjust the feed dog position to lightweight, we're going to go to the blue setting, and then making sure that we are I have a stitch length of two and a half, we are all set. Uh, a couple of things that I like to do is on the top of my zipper, so I always know where I have my alignment when I'm attaching my left and my right, is I like to mark a line. And the great thing about this extension table is that you have uh, measurements on them. The bottom measurement is in inches and the top measurement is in centimeters. So what I'm doing is, is from the top of that zipper, I'm measuring down a half of an inch and I am literally marking a line across. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And the reason that I do this again is so that when I'm putting my second side on, I have uh, an alignment point so that I'm making sure everything is um, aligned accurately. Okay, so I'm set to go ahead and put my zipper in place and I'm gonna go ahead and open that uh, zipper up. And if you'll notice when you look at the presser foot, you'll see that coil rides in that groove um, as, it's being, as it's being stitched. So I am going to align my zipper with my fabric. Now, I think the thing about an invisible zipper that was the hardest for me when I first uh, started putting them in is knowing where to put the coils and where to put the tape. So if I put my coils up against this raw edge, you can see what's gonna happen. When I stitch it, I have nothing. Okay, so that means that I have to use the other side of my zipper and I'm aligning my tape up against that raw edge so when I fold over, I have the coils. Now remember that half inch marking I had you place? I want you to put that at the very top of my fabric, or the very top of your fabric. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna slide this in because we want the needle to stitch to the right of that coil, okay? So you, that's the other thing, is always knowing which side of the foot to put your zipper in. And I always go slow to get myself started. Let's get just a little bit past there. Okay. There we go. I think what had happened was it got caught on that very top zipper stop. So that's always something to kind of keep in mind too, is to maybe allow a little bit of space um, for that. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch here all the way to the end. And typically when you're putting in an invisible zipper, you want to end probably about a half an inch from the bottom of where your zipper is because you're going to sew your seam afterwards. Okay, so that's a very important thing to note is that you want to stop about a half an inch before the end because you're going to create your seam afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to actually just take a couple of stitches in reverse, not many, and I'll use the scissors cut. And then I'm gonna raise my presser foot and here's my first side um, on my zipper. And I think I might want to lighten my foot pressure just ever so slightly. So one thing I always do is make sure that I close my zipper to make sure that it works. The other thing that I, the other reason I do this is because it can be real confusing sometimes, especially when you're first learning how to put in an invisible zipper of where to place the next uh, piece of fabric or what side to place it on. So in this case, what I've done is with it closed, I'm able to place the right side of my fabric with the right side of my zipper. So when I open everything up, I will know what side I'm attaching to which side and I don't end up with a confused mess, which I've often done in the past because I haven't had things set up right. So this is the side that my zipper is going to be stitched on. And um, again, I'm going to take that edge and line it up across the top. And this time uh, I want to place my coils in that right hand side. Okay, so they're going in the right hand side of the zipper and I'm gonna come a little bit past that um, zipper stop at the top. And let's realign that zipper just a little bit so we have it connected.
Okay, and I think we'll be set to go. Let's get this started. And as I'm stitching along, again, we always, always, always remember that you are in control of the speed of the machine based on um, how fast you sew. And if you can see, as the zipper is being stitched, this little guide right here is pushing these coils up so that stitching gets really close to the coils. That way, when you close your zipper, your zipper is, in fact, invisible. It actually ends up being hidden in that seam. So that's always something to watch out, is always make sure that that little piece is pushing those coils to the right or away from uh, the zipper tape so that the stitching can fall right um, in the correct spot. And again, we're going to stop a half an inch from the bottom because we want to create our seam after our zipper is put in versus creating our seam before. And I'm going to take stop right there. I'm just going to take a couple of stitches in reverse. I'm going to go ahead and use a thread cut, raise my presser foot. So I finished my second side. I've untwisted my zipper because that was what will happen when you're doing that second side. And I'm just going to close this zipper and I'm going to take my time as I'm doing it. And as you can see, as I'm closing it, can you see how that seam is literally sitting on top of one another? You can't even tell that you have a zipper in there. That's why it's called an invisible zipper. And with the help of the invisible zipper foot adjusting the feed dog position, and having the correct length, you are set to go. And the Baby Luck Accomplish makes that so easy.